last um, type of mean or average we, were gonna, we are going to talk about is a weighted mean, and this is a very important example because if you are in school, this is something you need to know. Um, I'm going to give you the formula, x bar again, your sample mean, but now it's the summation of w times x, I'll tell you what that means in a second, divided by the summation of w. Now, so x, all right, so x represents, um, so let, actually let's start with w. The weighted mean is used when you have different values that go into an average but weigh differently. So a typical example of that would be a GPA. Or if you have a class that has a, you know, 10% is final or 20% is this, those are weights. Different values go and weigh differently into the overall average. So that is what a weighted mean is used for. So W represents the weights, um, W, and the X represents the corresponding value. So I will show you what I mean. Corresponding value to each weight. So I'll show you what I mean by that <clears throat> with, um, I'll do two examples with a GPA example. So my first example, uh, a student, a student of the author, a student in general, took five courses. Her final grades, along with the number of credits in each um, course, where she got an A in a three credit course. She got an A in a four credit course. She got a B in a three credit course. And she got a C in a three credit course. Uh, and last but not least, an F in a one credit course. Obviously that F is bad, but it's in a one credit course, so it could be worse. What is her overall GPA? And um, if you guys recall, an A is four points, a B is three points, a C is two points, a D is one point, and an F is zero points towards your overall GPA. Um, now we're just finding the GPA for this particular semester. So I want you to think about, obviously, again, this is a weighted, uh, a weighted mean because, you know, each, each grade weighs differently in your overall GPA. Obviously, a four-credit class weighs more than a three-credit class or a one-credit class. Like this F, if it were in a four-credit class, it would be a little bit worse. So the weights are the credits. So this is a W, this is a W, this is a W, this is a W, and this is a W. So in my formula, right, my weights are the number of credits because that will, that, that tells us, you know, kind of how the overall average is very affected. So a four credit class weighs more into the overall GPA than a one credit class. So that means that the A's, the B's, these values, these points are the X's. So I'll just put, uh, let me put it in green or something. You know, these are my X's, X, 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 and X in numerical value are represented here. Um, <clears throat> so let's calculate this GPA, which is a weighted mean. So it says we're taking the sum of these products. So we're gonna multiply each weight by its corresponding value and then add it up. So each weight by its corresponding value. So the first class is a three credit class times A, which is the corresponding number of points, four credits, uh, four, number, four points for the A, plus <laughs> the let's do this class four which is my weight times the corresponding points which is another a four plus this class is a three credit class times the corresponding points three plus a three credit class that's the weight times c which is represented by two plus a one credit class times zero all over the denominator which is the sum of the weights the sum of the weights the sum of the credits three plus four plus three plus three plus one Calculate that, I'm going to get her GPA. So let's do that calculation. Um, where is my calculator? So here. So 12 plus 16 plus 9 plus 6 plus 0, 43 is my uh, numerator. So let me take away this approximation. I'll show my work. So equals 43 divided by, this is 7, 10, um, 14 total credits that she took that semester of <clears throat> 43 divided by 14 is, hold on. My computer is not 
43 divided by 14 is 3 point, I'm going to do 0 0.7 because if you recall, GPAs usually have two decimals to the right of the decimal place. So 3.07 .0, is her overall GPA for that semester. And that is a weighted mean. Um, here is another example of a class that it, you know calculates your grade based on homework, participation, exams, and final. And that should sound familiar. The homework is 15% of your overall grade. The participation is 10% of your overall grade. Your exams are 60% of your overall grade. And your final exam is 15% of your overall grade. This is how you calculate your overall average, which is a weighted mean. Now, what are the weights? The weights are the percentages, right? Because 60% weighs more, 60% um, of your overall grade weighs more than a 10% um, into your overall grade and, and such and so forth. So the X's are going to be the um, grades, the values in each of these cases. 60% um, represents these four exams, but each of them are not 60%, right? Their average is 60%. So let's do 81 plus 70 plus 93 plus 75 divided by 4 and find the average of the four exams. 79.75 is the average of these four exams. So that 79.75 is represented by the 60%. So let's calculate this weighted mean. So the weights we set are the percentages. Now when you're using um, percentages for calculations, you use them in decimal form. So 15% in decimal form is 0.15 times its corresponding value x, which is 40, plus 10% in decimal form is 0 0.10 times its corresponding value 100, plus 60% uh, is the weight, so 0 0.60 times its corresponding value, plus 15% times its corresponding value, divided by the sum of the weights 0 0.15 plus 0 0.10 plus 0 0.60, which we know should add up to 100% or 1. So that denominator is going to be 1. Um, so let's see what this is. I want you guys to do that on your calculator because um, <clears throat> tell me what you get. Um, parentheses around 0 0.15 times 40 plus 0.1 times 100 plus 0.6 times 79.75 plus 0.15 times 80. So this student in this class got a 75.85%. So right now the student has a C average with 40% on their homework, with 100% participation, an average of 79.75 on their exams, and 80 on their final. They got a C in the course. That's interesting, right? You might say, well, you know, the average exam is pretty high. It's almost a B. The final is a B. The participation is high. What is hurting them? What is pushing them down instead of up where they want to go? Homework. Let's see what happens if we change that homework grade. What if instead of a 40, the student got a 95 on the homework. So let's change that now and see what the new <laughs> overall average in this class is. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to do 0.15 times 95 plus 0.1 times 100 plus 0.6 times 79.75 plus What's the last one? 0.15 times 80. And let's see what this student has in this course now. I got, check me out, 84.1. So what does this student have in this course now? A B. So what does that mean? Homework, going from a 40% to a 95%, changed their whole grade from a C average to a B average. What does that tell you? What is the moral of this story? Well, yeah, we know how to calculate a weighted mean, but we also know that homework can make or break a grade. Sorry about that. <laughs>